about your theatrical dance conference, the one that you ran with Rania? So, uh, the theatrical belly dance conference um, was born in 2010, the first edition. Uh, we've had five large editions so far, and also smaller events. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one day long intensive, or so, sometimes um, some intensive we work to Paris, Sweden, Japan. Mm. Um, That's cool, I didn't realize that. Yeah, it, so it has smaller formats yeah. um, and uh, with only two of us and then uh, yeah. there's already a lot we can cover together. But yeah. in the large edition it's really great because we, uh, we've had between 15 and 20 or 21 teachers some years. Um, it's a big challenge to organize. It takes a village. Yeah, <laughs> just as for the retreat. Yeah. Except that you, well, I'm really very grateful and appreciative for all your work because you you do all the preliminary work on your own and yeah, for the conference we really need a team of ten people working for wow. a year basically. Wow. Uh, and yeah, it's interesting. Sometimes yeah. we have. Uh, to yeah, challenge ourselves finding mm. the right people in the team, and then now that we have well, we've had an amazing team lately. Yes. So the I mean, each year we've had amazing yeah. volunteers, but it's always a learning uh, experience yeah. to see how we can yeah. improve the organization. Yeah, and I really like what you were telling me about how the teachers work collaboratively on the topics for the conference because you have themes for each day or, or the whole conference. Yes. So. Um, Tell us a little bit more yeah. about how that works. Well, that was yeah. one of the challenges because um, sometimes we wanted to like uh, have certain topics and then we've asked teachers to create uh, their topic according to our proposals. Yeah. And so this year we've had a bit more flexibility where we um, created uh, the chapters out of what the teachers were sending us and yeah. we tried sometimes to... So we <clears throat> we used to have uh, themes that were for the whole day, so four times an hour and a half that was yeah. complementary with each wow. other. Um, and so the idea then was to have uh, all four different teachers of the day call on a conference call, so yeah. that's other more coordination. <laughs> <laughs> but so we would make sure the material was not repeating, and if, if it did, we would just mention um, a different perspective, yeah. or maybe you worked on this this morning with uh, such and such, but this is a different take, mm. or that's my point of view, and I'm that's going to so expose cool. that. So it's really cool, and I really think... Really valuable for the participants. Thing absolutely. Well, yeah. I think uh, it's something that I see more and more in different events mm -hmm. um, and that I keep doing even if it's not with the theatrical conference, for yes. example, that I um, that I have uh, topics, but now I really love the collaborative um, workshops yeah. and work and I think it makes um, a lot of sense because that's how I think we learn profoundly, that yeah. we bring our luggage from the past and this is how we analyze today. Yeah. So I think the fact that we also uh, accept and promote learning from different teachers uh, makes us grow uh, way faster and, and make, it makes the community, makes the student grow. And you, you can't, um, you, can, you don't own your students, you just, you know, just like a kid. You yeah. give them all the tools to fight in life the best they can. And then you have to let them go at some point. And so, and also, uh, just uh, like in life, you have to unlearn what you've learned for a while. So, yeah. there's always a phase where you're questioning what you, you know, the first values you've, uh, you've had or received. Yeah. Or, so, it's, it's good. Ooh, very <laughs> exciting. I have to make it one day. I really do.